want you to meet Kelly Jo Kuchar, owner of uh, an artist of uh, Design by Wine and Kelly Jo Designs. Hi, good morning. Hey, good Thanks morning. for being here. Thank you, this is fun. We were just talking um, earlier about how some of your work was at the Lavender Festival this weekend. Yes, yes. We saw the plate. That was beautiful. Thank you. That's our official Los Ranchos pattern, but we've got all kinds of lavender themed ceramics that Aaron got to see some of. Yeah. That was great. Wonderful. Well, it's good to have you here. Thank uh, you. Give us a background on you and what you do at, at Kelly Joe Designs. Okay, well, um, I've been running Kelly Joe Designs um, studio mainly uh, in Los Ranchos, I guess, since 2000, but for really almost 20 years. Um, I've been teaching artists to paint on my, my designs on ceramics, and we sell to stores all around the country. Um, we have our factory outlet and gallery um, in Los Ranchos, and um, just recently I've been incorporated this new concept that I'm really thrilled about, but uh, yeah, I've been doing that, and um, we specialize in custom corporate designs for people like Oh, I don't know, Ted Turner and um, NBC and oh, wow. all kinds of things like that we do behind the scenes. But then we also have, like I said, the extensive lavender collections. It, it's a fun, <laughs> bless you. It's a, it's a really fun business. Um, but about three years ago, I was in another big city, um, bigger city, and I took a class very similar to what I'm doing now, and I had a blast, and I thought, you know, my favorite part of my business is teaching my artists to paint and also having people come into the studio on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And I thought this would just be a perfect fit. And I had a great time and I paint every day. So I thought, yeah. okay, this is going to appeal to people. So that's how we started working on Design by Wine. It's taken me a few years to get it going, but... Well, let's show a couple of pictures of this in action here. Okay. And you get quite a crowd for this, it looks like. We do. We just launched in March and it's just growing by leaps and bounds. And really happy people. That's what look I like about it. Look at those people. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look what I did. So proud, yeah. and rightfully so. There's one of my instructors. And are these my professional daughter. professionals or just kind of people that no. had an interest uh, in? That was my, one of my daughters. <laughs> look at that. But, look at that class. But artistic, yeah. Oh, you mean the, the, the people that are yeah, kind of taking yeah. the class? No, these are folks, well, it could be a professional artist that just wants to do something different in kind of a communal setting. Uh -huh. But my average um, student is someone that maybe has never picked up a paintbrush in their life. And they're very nervous when they first come in, and then as the night proceeds, they get more and more relaxed, mm -hmm. and you can see their confidence is growing, and then they end up leaving with something they're, you know, they're really proud of. And I love that. It's really fun. So, so, yeah, girls' night out there. There you go. And you get to drink wine at the and same time. And you get time. to drink wine. Yep, we play some fun music. It's so definitely the, a party. The instructor is giving some instruction on how to paint. Mm, yeah. And then you try and duplicate their painting. You is do, if that's what you like. There are no rules. If I'm teaching, you know, here's a turquoise sky and somebody wants to do purple, go for it. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, there is a loose, definitely, we take you step by step. Neat. Yeah. Don't you find a lot of people walking in the door who, who said, I've always wanted to learn how to paint? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people say that, and I always hear, you know, I don't have a creative bone in my, my, in my body. I don't have very high expectations, and I, I feel like it's my job to, to help them discover that, yes, they are, in fact, creative, and that they can do this. And uh, so, you know, and, the, and then I do have people that... Um, They'll take a class and then they'll sign up right when they get home for the class the next night. So oh. I, I know that people are having a good time. So, so tell us a little bit about the how uh, the concept of it and how you get into it and how do we sign up? Sure. And okay. Well, um, my Design by Wine website is pretty straightforward. You can click on. Um, the calendar and then just pick a night that works for you, you know, schedule wise and also, you know, obviously the ones that the paintings appeal to you. You sign up online or with us over the phone and then a few days before the class we'll send an email out and ask you, you know, who all do you want to sit with? Because usually people sign up individually but they're coming in with a few friends or even a, you know, a big party. Yeah. So we do want to create that, you know, that fun party atmosphere and then they get to the studio about a half hour before the class starts, they get to sample some wine, pick out which one they want to buy, um, and then you know walk around the gallery. Of course, we're encouraging that too because yeah. everything's for sale, <laughs> and we make it right there. We're really proud of that. Um, and then we just get started, and a typical class maybe goes from 
six thirty, six forty five to nine fifteen. You yeah. know, some of the more difficult ones might go till nine thirty. And when I say difficult, I just mean more steps. None of it's terribly difficult, you know. And um, you brought and we're gonna show these in another one. It, the, the fun part of this game is which is the instructor and which is yes. the student. So yes. can you this hold those up? This will be a lot of fun. Okay. Um, this is our beautiful Los Poblanos Lane painting that I okay. think we just did last weekend as part of the Lavender Festival. All right. So which one's the instructor and which one's the student? I know the uh, answer. And I have to peek. So yeah. they, they the one on your so right similar. hand is is the student who is your husband, right? That is correct. <laughs> Another person who does not consider himself an artist, but Look obviously, obviously he's that's not true at all. Yeah, that's great. <clears throat> that, that's, that's fantastic. And then we have another example over here on our coffee table. I think the camera will pick that up here. Again, the game is which one's the instructor and which one is the student? Oh. Kelly Joe, reveal. Okay, well, I have to say I painted the one on the left. Uh, the one on the right was painted by a very young student who definitely does not consider herself a painter. Wow. Again, I would have to say we've proven her wrong. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> and work. she was so proud of this painting. So, yeah, it was nice Fantastic. for her to share that. Uh -huh. And now, if a group wants to have, so I have a group and we're, we want to do some big outing, can we schedule something with you? Yes, yes. Um, to block out a weekend night, I would need a very large crowd, but um, we are pretty flexible during the week, um, and we have a huge studio, oh. so we can, you know, move the pottery back, move it forward. I'm, I'm hosting, I think, 60 wives of dairy farmers that are in town at the Tamaya next, <laughs> oh, wow. next week, and they're coming in to paint a sunflower, so, you know, but yeah, we can accommodate most size groups. It's pretty, yeah, it's really exciting. That's really cool. <laughs> Well, not bad to see this in another city adopted here and it's taken off. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it is something that's sort of a um, national phenom uh, on different levels, and I think it's just appealing to people's sense of community wanting to do something different as an evening out. Mm -hmm. And also, I think uh, there's not enough opportunity for people to express their own artistic ability. Yeah. Um, so for me, you know, it is something that there's even franchises out there in other, you know, in other states. But right. in New Mexico, ours has a very special, I think our studio, our painting has a very special flavor because, you know, the art and the colors and the icons of New Mexico are so, so unique. So ours is kind of, we have our own twist. Yeah. How about husbands and wives or couples? Yeah, well. Does it get competitive? Uh, no. <laughs> I haven't seen any com competition, but... Um, I have seen some really fun date nights where the wife has had to drag the husband in against his wishes, <laughs> and then two weeks later they're back again, and he's taking it, bringing everybody from the office or whatever, you know. Oh, that's fun. So it is really, really fun to see it grow, you know, in that way.